At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Dr. Neville Fernando established the South Asian Institute of Technology and Medicine in 2008, offering degree programs in IT, Management and Finance, Engineering, Vocational Studies, Nursing, Languages and Health Science. In 2011, under S.B. Disanayaka, the former Minister of Higher Education, a Gazette notification declared CITEM as a degree awarding institute with powers to award medical degrees. The decision came under much opposition from the Sri Lanka Medical Council, Government Medical Officers Association and State University students. Since then, protests and rallies were organized against CITEM and the Government Medical Officers Association took a firm stance against it. Meanwhile, students of CITEM also took to the streets demanding that recognition be given to the degrees issued by the institute they are studying in. As a result, in 2015, the Supreme Court ruled that CITEM students be allowed to obtain their clinical training in government hospitals. In this backdrop, the Sri Lanka Medical Council last year refused to register a batch of medical students who had passed out from CITEM. Sri Lanka Medical Council accused CITEM of not meeting standards of a proper medical teaching school. A petition was later filed by an undergraduate regarding the Medical Council's decision. When the case was taken up for hearing today, Justice Vijit Malalgoda ruled out all opposition against CITEM. The Justice also ordered that the university in question has legal eligibility to issue valid medical degrees to students, as per the Gazette issued by the former Higher Education Minister. Accordingly, the Justice also directed Sri Lanka Medical Council to grant provisional registration to medical students passing out from CITEM.